Welcome to Kadikoy, one of Istanbul's most vibrant and eclectic districts. Situated on the Asian side of the city, Kadikoy offers a unique blend of history, culture, and trendiness. Join us as we take a closer look at this dynamic neighborhood and discover its hidden gems. One of the highlights of any visit to Kadikoy is exploring its bustling food market. Here, you'll find an abundance of fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, and spices, all sourced from local producers. For stunning views of the Bosphorus and the iconic skyline of Istanbul, head to Katikoy's waterfront promenade. Whether you're taking a leisurely stroll or enjoying a sunset picnic, the waterfront offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Whether you're a foodie, a history enthusiast, or simply seeking adventure, Katikoy has something for everyone. Be sure to watch until the end so we can show you just how easy it is to get from the Asian side of Istanbul to the European side, either by ferry or subway. Hello from Istanbul, and we are in the neighborhood of Katikoy on the Asian side, which is where we are staying. And I think this is a great place to stay if you're thinking about coming to Istanbul, you're looking for where you want to stay at. I think Katikoy is a great choice. Um, a lot of cool coffee shops, cafes, bars, and transportation is very easy here. So, um, yeah, we're going to show you around Katikoy a little bit. And uh, when you come, I think it would be, I think it'd be wise for you to choose to stay here. It's a very nice place. Take a look. Simply by chance, we stayed in a neighborhood called Yelda Germeni which I'm sure I'm not pronouncing correctly, and I'm sorry for butchering it, but it means windmill in Turkish. It was once a flower hub for the kitchens of the Ottoman palace. Today, though the windmills are gone, the area is still alive with bakeries honoring its past. This neighborhood is one of the oldest in Istanbul, situated in the heart of urban Asia and is home to nearly 70 art studios spread out amongst a dozen or so streets. The Windmill District is definitely a vintage gem in Kadikoy, which mixes classic Turkish vibes with a splash of artsy flair. Stroll through the streets adorned with vibrant murals, passing by cozy cafes and quirky art studios. Talk about a feast for the eyes. You know, one of the best parts of traveling is stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. Let me tell you, my very first meal in Istanbul was at this restaurant and I unknowingly had an intestine sandwich, which was actually quite tasty if you don't think about what you're eating. Be sure to watch our Istanbul food tour video for more on the culinary delights of the city. Yodogamini, or the Windmill District, it's a diverse mix of rich and poor, young and old, hip and uncool, religious and secular, with mosques, synagogues and churches, where everyone is nice to each other. What a concept. We're very happy we ended up staying here for our month in Istanbul. by the horns. And welcome to the Katikoy market. We're gonna walk you through here and you're gonna see some fish and some olives and vegetables, some meat, and all kinds of delicious items and products that are for sale here at the, the market. It's a bustling place. We're here a little bit early uh, before the main crowds get here, so it won't be quite as hectic as it will be in just a couple hours. How do we measure it? A little bit or a handful. A handful, right? 
Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> my new best friend. We got some dried peppers and actually dried eggplant there and tomato. We got some sheep feet. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Oh, yeah, it's a I want to see someone throw a fish. Like at all, oh, he just threw a bucket of fish. At the Pike Place Market. Some people love to eat fish heads. It's a delicacy. People love these sheep heads. Look at those all roasted up. <laughs> Istanbul. Always something exciting going on. And then you keep walking through Kadikui, through the market, past the restaurants and the bars. And at a certain point, you're gonna come to a little neighborhood called Moda. And it's, um, it's kind of an even more hip, a newer area. Uh, a lot of, um, seems like a lot of gentrification has been going on here and a lot of hipsters type. So I guess you would say so um, yeah it's very very different from some of the other areas of Istanbul that are very conservative and traditional this is a very young kind of young vibrant area um, a lot of young people with like typical what you might say I guess American European style dress and stuff so yeah, it's very interesting. Got a nice granny's waffle shop here. And then you can walk on down to the the Bosphorus and have a really nice park with um, a nice walkway along the Bosphorus, Bosphorus Strait. So Istanbul has more stray dogs and cats of any city I've ever been to and but they seem to be very well taken care of because they're their houses for the cats set up and they're, they're well fed they're, the dogs are a lot of them are really fat and a lot of the dogs have like this tag so this is a statue I guess kind of representing the stray dog and it has that tag in its ear and from what I understand you see a dog that has that tag that means it's been fixed so they can't have more puppies, but uh, yeah, a lot of stray dogs and cats, but they seem to be very well taken care of and, and loved here in Istanbul. Yeah, so this is the waterfront down at uh, Moda, down along the Bosphorus. It's just a really nice place to come. There's lots of uh, green area, a lot of parks, benches. There's a playground further down and uh, of course, you got these nice rocks, and um, there's lots of places selling stuff to eat and drink, ice cream type stuff. It's just a really cool place to come chill out. And we walked down here. I don't know how far it goes, actually, but we walked um, at least a mile from the city one day. Just walked down and turned around and went back. So 
and we did not reach the end, so I'm not sure how long it is, but uh, it's a really nice place. It's a little hazy today, so our visibility is not so great, but it's still really pretty. People enjoying themselves. People are having a good time tonight. It's only Tuesday night. You should see them on Friday. Good morning from Asia. And we are gonna go down and hop on the ferry and go across to Europe to visit the Blue Mosque this morning. So thanks for joining us. And to, to get over to the European side, it's so easy. We have this card called the Istanbul card and you load it up with some Turkish Lira and then you scan your card and it costs less than one US dollar to get from our side in the the port of Katikoy over to the European side at the port of Emenunu so it's gonna be a fun day there we are at the ferry terminal here's where you can buy your Istanbul card loaded up with money here we go. Next stop, Europe. A little bit of morning chai on the ferry. What a way to travel. So welcome to Europe. 20 minutes later, here we are on the European side. So they deliver chai while you're riding. And we had two cups of chai for less than a dollar. So two for less, so less than 50 cents per cup. You sit there, you sip your, your tea, and you look at the beautiful scenery go by. And then 20 minutes later, you're in Europe. This is Istanbul. It's also easy to take the subway from Katikoy to the European side of Istanbul. Simply hop on the M4 or the pink line, get off at the first stop, and then take the Marmare under the Bosphorus Strait in the direction of Halkali. Get off at the second stop of Serkeci, and you are in the heart of the tourist hub of Istanbul. To get back to Katikoy, simply follow these steps in reverse. We prefer to take the ferry because it's very scenic and the subway is a little more expensive. It can get crowded. It doesn't really save you any time and no one is serving chai on the subway. Unfortunately, our journey through this vibrant neighborhood of Katikoy has come to a close. As we bid farewell to this captivating corner of the world, remember, that the beauty of travel lies not only in the places we visit, but in the connections we make and the memories we create along the way. If you're looking for a place to stay in Istanbul, we highly recommend staying in Katikoy. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel experiences from around the globe. Until next time, wander often, wander always.